difficult <laughs> because uh, we have a very, I mean, we chose a different uh, session formats uh, for this year's uh, conference. And I, th I think that all of you recognized the aim, which is actually to uh, let participants uh, get involved at their most uh, around all the tables and to discuss the future with the presenters. Uh, the, the, the theme of the conference is open education for an open future. So we wanted the session formats to reflect that. And that's why, of course, we will have presentation because everybody's welcome and everybody should feel free to join the conference with the, the session format that at best suits their attitude, their needs, and their uh, uh, research also. But also we wanted to strongly promote uh, uh, action, um, activities during the conference. And also another thing that we are going to do together with all of you is to use spaces differently because we will have a plenary room to be used for some of the activities and we will also use classrooms for other activities. But we are going to have a lot of activities in the corridors, actually, in between students passing around, okay? And if we can do that there, everybody can do it everywhere, we think. <laughs> so this is our aim. Uh, for example, Action Labs, which are going to last uh, 50 minutes each, uh, are going to be um, in a corridor. Uh, in one of the buildings and you will find a lot of information about where to go, how to orient yourself in the spaces, etc. Um, we reserved those spaces because we wanted uh, different ISIL, ISIL um, made with uh, two or three tables to be available for presenters and for participants to work together. Some of the recommendations that you can see here are very easy to understand. We invite uh, presenters with this format to arrive five, 10 minutes early at uh, your table, because uh, of course we are going to bring there everything that uh, is um, uh, explained in the session format uh, page in the conference website. So you, you will have a, a paper, you will have a, markers, pens, sticker, sticker notes, uh, scissors, uh, scotch tape, etc. Everything that we think might, might support your activities and the creative involvement you want for your participants. But if you need to bring something, I don't know, uh, some materials that you want to distribute, or if you have a presentation you want to print out and uh, share with participants, or if you have in mind a specific format that you are bringing with yourself uh, in order to be put on the table and to be used for the activities, that's the moment in which you are welcome to, to prepare it before the, the session actually starts. And also, we strongly invite you if you are uh, holding a table for an action lab to provide clear instructions to participants about what you want them to do, which is the aim of the activity, which is the expected result, not, not in, in order to let them know in advance what will come up from the session, you know, but just to say, um, uh, I'm willing, I don't know, I am willing to have uh, your view on my ideas. I, I am willing to develop a, a next step on an activity that I already tried out, but this time I want to put it on the table and I want to announce it with your help. Something like this, just in order to let participants know in advance, which is your aim. And also, um, while the activity is ongoing, we strongly invite you to move around the table and be sure that everybody understands the task and is able to contribute properly. Uh, which doesn't mean that everybody has to talk at the same time, of course, but, uh, you know, it's different to see people uh, working on their computers or uh, answering their phone or, or uh, being involved in, a, in an activity that uh, is on the table together with the others. And uh, on the other side, if everybody's really involved, uh, one of the difficult things that is up to the presenter is to keep time <laughs> because uh, uh, every action, la action lab la lasts uh, 50 minutes, but after each action lab, there is uh, 10 minutes needed for the next uh, session to start, okay? 
So the next presenter will need the table to be able to prepare their own action lab. So it is important that uh, each presenter at each table is uh, uh, able to keep the time of the activities. In the end, of course, uh, you are welcome to collect any resources uh, and uh, any material you used and leave on the table the things that are provided from the organization so that they will be available for the next Action Lab. And uh, there is a question from Bea. Yes, there is a session chair, uh, Bea. There is a session chair and uh, not only one because Action Labs are going to happen in two parallel corridors on the first floor of a building. You find every information on the SCAD application, but we are going to provide uh, very specific maps of the tables within the corridors so that everybody will be easily uh, able to reach the proper table. In every session description, we are going to add both the name of the table and its number so that everybody will be easily able to understand where their action lab is going to happen and where do they have to go in order to reach the sessions they are interested in, okay? Uh, session chairs are going to be available, but it's going to be a corridor. You have to remember that. So the session chair will be able to ring a bell and uh, I hope that we will have bells <laughs> because it's a uh, noisy enough to be uh, understood by and uh, listened by anyone even if they are far away but of course we will need the the support of each session uh, chair sorry each uh, presenter at each table because uh, it will be a huge environment with many tables working at the same time okay so anyway we will guarantee one session chair per corridor Okay, so you will see them. And also we are going to provide some people walking around just in order to support with the, the session format if any question may raise during the session itself. People from METID will be available. Uh, I think that we will be recognizable, Susan. I don't know how at present time, but there will be an Ask Me logo somewhere on us. Okay, <laughs> and it will be colored, so you will recognize us, I'm sure about that. And uh, we are going to be recognizable, so I think at the beginning of the conference, uh, we are going to, to be available since the very beginning. So please count on us to be there. And if you have questions, you are always welcome to ask the session chairs. Um, Susan, maybe, maybe it's better, yes, work cafe better. Uh, work cafe because maybe this is the, let's say the most tricky one because it's a very nice and very interactive format, but it's the quickest, I think, because lightning talk is very similar, even if it's shorter in time, it's very similar to a presentation. Uh, on the contrary, World Cafe is a very intense activity, which will uh, last 60 minutes uh, uh, as a whole, but uh, each session will have different stages. So. The presenters will arrive at the table. Of course, they are invited to arrive early, five to 10 minutes before the, the session starts. Each table will have a paper tablecloth prepared by us, already fixed on the table. And uh, still, again, you will have uh, markers, pens, uh, st pencils, sticky notes, etc. Everything will be waiting for you there. And I hope also we will provide some chocolate, as I was saying before, <laughs> for each table, some chocolate and some coffee, of course. Let's see if we can do that. Um, and um, uh, what will happen there is that uh, a group of people will arrive at the table. The presenter will explain the structure of the activity, okay? And then uh, the first group of participants, which will have at their disposal a completely blank uh, tablecloth, paper tablecloth to write on, will be invited to start the activity according to the instruction given by the presenter, of course. But also, they will be invited to remember that uh, two steps will follow them. Okay, because people are going to move every 15 minutes from one table to another. Okay, so they're going to work very intensively for 15 minutes on a tablecloth. 
according to the instruction they receive around the table. Then they are going to go to another table with another uh, objective, another aim, and uh, different instructions, and they will find the tablecloth with some uh, written contents and some things already on it, okay? And they will go ahead working according to the different aim they will receive, and they are going to do the next step of the work. And on the third turn, they will move to another table again. So, seen from the perspective of the um, table holder, let's say, what happens is that uh, you are going to be around your table, a group of people will join you, after a quarter of an hour, they are going away to a different table, you will meet a, group, a new group of people who are working on the routes that uh, the previous group already established on the tablecloth, okay? So everybody is invited to remind the other people of uh, uh, the necessity to leave some space for the next people coming. Of course, a sticker note, sticking notes would support that because you can add contents at different layers. We also will provide some uh, uh, blank papers that you can add. And also, if it is needed, we will have uh, uh, some tablecloth available for people who need a second uh, layer let's say okay so um, don't worry if you think that uh, you need something new to write on because we will give it uh, to you uh, another thing that it's uh, important to say is that uh, of course there will be many different conversation in very in many different tables in the same corridor okay so it will be noisy and also when people move, there will be a huge number of people moving at the same time, looking for their next tables. So it could be that uh, the five minutes that are um, uh, in the program between each 15 minutes session, uh, maybe they are enough, maybe for someone who is far away are not enough to reach your table. So uh, be, be patient with that, <laughs> try to be, <laughs> as inclusive as possible and they will join the group working on the tablecloth. I don't think it will be a problem in any way. You are also invited to take pictures, take photos please of your tables because they will change during time and it could be very interesting to have the stages after the first group, after the second group and after the third group. Remember that we are going to have two photographers during the conference, which are going to go around tables in order to support you in, the, in this activity. Okay, they are going to take photos uh, during the sessions and uh, what we are going to try to do is to have them take photos of the different stages of each tablecloth. But it could be that in the chaos of this uh, uh, large number movement of people, they cannot reach every table. So if you can take your own pictures, it could be very easy, uh, useful for participants to see the evolution of the tablecloth. And also those photos can support your work in the production of the ex post video. I, I, we didn't talk about it yet, but I think that all of you uh, remember that you have to provide, you are strongly invited at least, <laughs> To provide an ex-ante video in which you explain the aims of your session because it would be very helpful for participants to have a look at it and to have an idea before they reach your table of what's going to happen there, which is your aim, why are you proposing some uh, questions to them, which is uh, the result you are willing to obtain, which is the contribution you expect from them. And uh, in the ex post video, which again will be very short, very informal, it would be interesting to see if you ex actually succeeded in reaching your goal together with the support of participants. Or even if the, the result is completely different from what you expected, anyway, it would be interesting to know and to share it with the, all the conference uh, community. Moving to the posters, uh, posters will be displayed during the whole conference, very close to the coffee area. So, you know, <laughs> uh, 
everybody will see them. <laughs> and also we reserved some time very close to one of the lunches uh, in order to have a, a reserved moment for a poster holders to present their work because usually it's not always like this. I mean, it's not always easy to have a, uh, a session devoted just to posters and it could be useful to have uh, you explain your own work uh, in a specific moment. Anyway, be sure that participants who are moving around your poster will be allowed to leave you uh, a memo about their questions or their curiosities or some content that uh, is not clear to them or they are interested to go in depth with you uh, about because they are willing to, I don't know, contact you or work together with you to, with something. And uh, we are going to provide a folder close to, the, close to each poster and the um, participants will be invited to leave a message inside it. Uh, everybody will receive uh, uh, some notes, some paper notes in their bags so that they can share old style messages <laughs> uh, <laughs> written on paper <laughs> and uh, who knows, leave their cards also uh, so that the participants who have posters will reach you after and uh, you as a poster session holder can reach uh, people interested in you. And then we have lightning talk and thank, thanks Susan to keeping the pace with me because I'm getting longer, <laughs> otherwise I know that. <laughs> um, lightning talks are the shortest format we have in this uh, conference. You might already be familiar with this format which is not unusual nowadays. It's very short, it's 22 slides and uh, you will have 8 minutes and 6 seconds totally plus a, a short amount of uh, question time available in, at the end of each session. So each of you who is willing to, who is coming to present in a session uh, like this is uh, strongly invited to arrive early so that you will be able to upload your presentation and uh, check uh, which is your turn because uh, uh, there is already a list, but you know, Everything can happen, people can be late, uh, uh, flights can be delayed, you know. <laughs> Life happens in between uh, the programs <laughs> that we prepare, so everything can be changed uh, at the last minute according to the needs. And so it could be very useful also for your session chair to see you, recognize you in person and uh, give you the microphone in the right moment, okay? So if you prepare a lightning talk, you just need to be aware that you will need to focus on keeping the time and the session chair will support you on with that. We are going also to prepare some uh, cards, these format cards with the, uh, the minutes on them so that you will have a proper sign. You have one, two minutes, one minutes remaining and now the bell is ringing <laughs> and you are done. <laughs> Even if you are in the middle of a sentence, you are, I think you will be done. And uh, so in this format, it will be very important. Uh, uh, there is a question from Flavia. Yes, Flavia, you can certainly use less than 22 slides. 22 actually is the maximum, okay? Because it's a calculation made around just numbers according to the time, the number of seconds in total you have, we made this uh, calculation. But uh, if you have 15 slides and they cover all your content, it's okay. If you want to use a different format, uh, I don't know if you prefer to use instead of slides, uh, a video and alternate your time together with a video, you're welcome to do that too, okay? It's up to you. You will be if you are going to have a lightning talk, you are going to be in the plenary uh, uh, session room, which is the Carassa Dada, it's called Carassa Dada, and you will have audio too during the whole uh, time. While not in all the other rooms, audio will be available, of course, but you will have it. So you feel free to choose your format. The only strict recommendation is the duration, okay? because the uh, sessions will be very uh, quickly following one the other. Uh, 
There is a question from Bill, what format should the presentation be in if you use slides? Should it be PowerPoint or Google Slides? It's up to you. Uh, it's better if you arrive with a PowerPoint version. I mean, you can download the Google Slides also with a PPT uh, file format, okay? Which uh, is, let's say, easy to, to be used also if we need to switch from one computer to the other. Uh, so uh, it is better to have a, a downloaded version of the slides, but if then you want to link the Google Slides version uh, to, the, to your session description, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, you are encouraged to do that. Exactly. This is the make sure it is uh, it's available offline. That's the reason why I'm asking for the PPT version of it. <laughs> Exactly that, because uh, we are going to have uh, Wi-Fi during the whole conference and everywhere. But if, even if it, if it is granted, uh, you know, with technology, <laughs> everything happens uh, when you don't expect it. <laughs> so I prefer to have uh, the offline version if it is available. Also, if you use videos or any other format, please uh, be sure that if it, as far as it is possible, we prefer you to arrive with an offline version, just to be sure, okay? On the thumb drive, not on our own computers, correct? Yes, and also, uh, well, actually, I think that we will invite everyone to send their uh, presentation in advance so that we can upload them in the computers in advance. And if someone changes something at the last minute, it's okay. We can upload them again. But for safety reason, one of the recommendations on site is not to insert many different pen drives in a computer, as you can easily imagine. And it's not because it's, it's uh, let's say, <laughs> it's a lack of faith in participants. It's because uh, everyone always has to... Uh, um, I don't know how to say that, uh, face uh, viruses uh, <laughs> threads every time. So uh, that's why we received the recommendation to upload the presentations in advance so, just, so that we can uh, make them go through the antivirus uh, check. That's it. Exactly. Common security practice, no more than that. About presentation, well, presentations are the classical format. You will have uh, uh, an audience in front of you in a classical classroom setting. You will have a computer available. I'm not sure that all the rooms will have microphones, but they are not so large that you will, will have problems. Uh, in, I mean, you are not required to talk uh, too much loud. And uh, you can also... Uh, be careful in arriving on time so that the session chair will be able to recognize you, upload your presentation in advance and uh, support you in keeping the time because they will be there for you, okay? Uh, session chairs will be there to support you, that's it. And they will keep the time too. A uh, few things, uh, last minute about the ex ante video. All of you are strongly encouraged to produce them. Just please, uh, try to put yourself in the shoes of the people who never attended a World Cafe session or an Action Lab in their life or a lightning talk, okay? Of course, the lightning talk is, uh, let's say, uh, more similar to a classical format because it's a presentation and it's very quick. So some of you might, might ask, why should I produce a two or three minutes video before I present? It's because of that, because you will have less time during the presentation and it could be war, uh, worth it for you to share some of your um, aims, some of the goals that you are willing to share with participants in, a, in, a, in advance, so ex ante, so that they can be able to look at your session and uh, not only to the session description, but also at your face and the way in which you are inviting them to join you, okay? So they might choose you, choose your session because of that video. And it, it is even more important for work cafes and action labs because the sessions formats are going to be very interactive and mainly for work cafes, groups won't have a lot of time. So if they arrive at your table knowing which is your purpose, 
which is uh, the project you are working on and which is the kind of contribution you expect from them, they might prepare some ideas in advance and think can, can easily start. Anyway, you see the list of questions which are also available on the website of the conference. The, the questions are very simple and the, the video sh is not uh, something that should be very formal. Please use your smartphone. Just be sure that uh, the light is uh, clear enough on your face and that uh, your microphone is properly positioned so that uh, the audio is fine. Because uh, if you have, uh, I don't know, difficulties with English, you see my English is not perfect, for example, and the people coming from all around the world might not be comfortable in recording themselves, but uh, it's informal. I mean, it's just to support other participants to understand which is your aim, what are you willing to share with them, and why you need their support in order to open for the future, okay? Which is the aim of the conference. After that, uh, um, oh yes, this is the link to the web page uh, where the Exante video is explained. We shared with you some tips in order to support you in preparing yourself uh, easily. For example, very, very simple tips. Uh, don't wear something with a big logo of a commercial company in front of you. <laughs> something like this because we would like to avoid uh, uh, to, to make commercials. <laughs> Uh, within that. And then you can share them on SCED and add the link to those videos to your session description. So participants will have all the information about your session at the same place. Okay? And we'll so, also help you promote your sessions once we yes. see your video loaded. Uh, send us a quick email and we're, uh, we will promote your sessions as well. Yeah, you can share it also via Twitter, via Facebook, whichever is your channel, please go ahead and uh, invite people looking at it, okay? So, questions! <laughs> microphones any, open, so... <laughs> does anybody have any questions about your particular sessions or actually anything that we might could help you with regarding uh, the conference in Milan? Hi, this is Bill. I have a question. Hi, Bill. Hi. Um, so I'll be giving a, a presentation, the 25 minute long one, and I'll also be giving a lightning talk on the same topic. So I'm wondering, would you recommend that I create two separate videos or should I just use the one to, to promote both sessions? Do you have different goals for the different sessions? Because if you have different goals and you expect participants to get involved in a different way, well, it could be useful for you to prepare two of them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if the aim is just one, you can say in your video, okay, I am giving two sessions with the same goal. The formats are different and I want to try them. I don't know, you have your mm -hmm. reasons for choosing two different formats, you know, and you're welcome to do that. So just be informally clear with your participants, share with them which is your goal and what you expect from them which is the contribution you want to receive from this conference in order to build the next step. Thank you. Um, and I'm also wondering, do you have a soft deadline for uh, presenting the links for the videos to you? Well, actually, we, uh, uh, we already share the deadline, uh, which is, uh, I think, at the end of, of this week, right, Susan? Yes. Um, yeah. You can actually add it right up to, we would appreciate it, right up to the conference. However, if you can do it earlier, it gives us an opportunity to promote your session as well as you promote your session. Um, so that was kind of the, the purpose of it is we were wanting them by the end of this week. Um, but I will admit mine's not ready either. Um, I'm hoping to load it by Friday, but if not, you you have the opportunity right up until the last minute because i do think it'll be a great resource um even after your session okay thank you and also i think it could be very useful for participants in advance i mean we have a huge number of sessions during the conference and many of them are in different formats so if it is about me i will go through the videos in order to choose which are the sessions that I might be able to attend while I'm jumping from one place to the other, you know? So as, as, as a, I mean, the earlier, the better, mm -hmm. according to this, for participants, of course. 
Right. I know that for presenters is not the same and I share with Susan. I mean, I also, and this part shouldn't be recorded. I received an invitation from the Open Education Consortium <laughs> to <laughs> record a video about my keynote with students. Ah. But actually, yeah, I remember that, Susan. But actually, I am meeting online with the students next Monday. So that's the chance I have to record the video together with them. And that's what I'm willing to do. Mm -hmm. So I will arrive later, even if it's not required, because keynotes are not required. <laughs> just me. <laughs> right, Susan? <laughs> it's uh, just me. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> but anyway. thanks for your question, Bill. Those are great questions. Yeah. And we'll be looking yeah. for your video. Okay, thank you. I'll have it ready by Friday. <laughs> thank you very much. And really, feel comfortable in using your smartphone. It's not really, it should be very informal. Don't worry about that. It's just, you need just to be clear on what you want to say. Okay. Informal and easy. Don't make it difficult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to keep uh, stealing the time here. Um, I didn't receive the, an email about uh, submitting them. So um, should I reach out to somebody after the session to, to get that information? Go to the website. Uh, let me oh, okay. back this up. Um, and I can also post it in the chat window. But it's this link right here. It gives you some tips. Oops. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you get it, Bill. I'll make a note and send you the link. But it's on our website. If you just go to the the video at the top, the main um, the main bar, you'll you'll find the page for extensive videos. Okay, thank you, Susan. Okay. And also, we have a question from Catherine here about the the Action Labs. Can we prepare a Google folder with materials for people to use? Of course, you can. And uh, you're welcome to add the link to this folder to your session description. Everything that you want to share with participants can stay within the session description, okay? Also the link to your video for the, for the Exante version and also you can add the ex post video as soon as it is ready. Uh, but uh, please go ahead and invite participants uh, from there because if they are going to join you, they are going to bring also their devices, I think. Yes, you can add the link instead within your session description. As soon as you um, create your own account in SCED, you are allowed to, to edit the session description, okay? So you can add both, okay? And also if you need to invite the participants to bring their laptops or, and their tablets, they, are, they you can do it there. I mean, many of them will arrive with the, their own devices anyway, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you need them to bring them with you, please go ahead and invite them to. We did something like this, for example, if you want to see an example for the workshop that is going to be done in the plenary room by Professor Canina, which is a design thinking uh, professor here at Politecnico. And uh, uh, we added a note in order to invite participants to bring their own devices because they are going to prepare digital materials during the workshop, you know, so that it could be useful for them to have more than one device available. Any other question? Uh, yeah, it's not a question, but um, like after, I've sent you an email earlier uh, concerning the session formats. So some things uh, for the Word Cafe are enlisted under the uh, presenters to do's, but actually they should be moved to the participant. Like um, whoever is gonna be, like be the table leader, it's the participants, not the uh, the presenter. So, so it wouldn't be confusing to uh, uh, to the well, participants. No, the the table count. leader actually should be the presenter, not the the participants. The table leader. Huh. Maybe it's, it's a little it's a little bit different than the ones I've conducted before. But usually, uh -huh. what happens is that you have uh, somewhere between fifteen to thirty participants. It shouldn't be like an up in something, and it shouldn't be too little number. And then you have like three to five tables, and then participants would choose a leader on every table, and uh, they will stay, and then they will change with other people. So it's, but there, there will be like a number of tables, not one table, unless you're doing it otherwise. So I'm a little bit confused. So, no, so it's every, a, I mean, yeah. So every presenter will have one table. Sorry. 
<laughs> okay, no, go no, please go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, 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 as I got it from you, is that every presenter in a word cafe will have one table? Yeah, each presenter will have one table. Okay. So okay. So each table will be focused on one uh, goal. Okay. Oh, it's not okay. that we are going to have multiple tables with the same goal and then people will move. Each table will have a different uh, presenter. So the presenter is going to be, let's say, the table leader. Okay. Okay, so there will be other sessions with different subjects? Yes, during, I mean, the session will be in a huge corridor. We will uh -huh. have something like seven or eight uh, uh, tables, okay, okay. Uh, with more than, which, uh, the, with uh, the, ta the paper cloth, and uh, each table will be uh, for um, a presenter with a specific uh, objective, okay? And then okay. people will work for a quarter of an hour on one table on one, um, one objective and then we, they will move to another table with a different presenter and a different aim, okay? Okay, cool. And then um, how, how, how will the sessions eventually lead into one thing? Like will there be somebody coordinating all of these sessions so they would eventually come back with a um, like a feedback or like what people have um, took away is, from all of yeah. this? This is up to each table uh, leader, which hmm. is the presenter, okay? They okay. will have three terms of people coming uh -huh. to their table. They are uh -huh. all working on the same paper tablecloth and in the end, the result okay. of that particular uh, activity on that table will be shared through an ex post video Okay, uh, but so it's, and to, together with photos, yeah. okay, it's a, it's it's a modified, stages. It's a modified version of Word Cafe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a little Thank bit you. different from the one. You yeah, now now it's that there, clear. Are, there is more than one for yeah. Okay. Any other question? Doesn't seem so. Well, we will, um, if there's no more questions, we'll let you go about 15 minutes early because I know we are crossing many, many, many time zones. Some of us, it's really, really early. We've not even had coffee and some of us want to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, Susan, we still have two questions. Oh, good, go ahead. One, one from Catherine, uh, Action Lab questions. Can we expect people to stay the entire time during the Action Lab? Yes, I would say that uh, it, it is expected that people are going to stay the whole time. Uh, what we tried to do actually in, uh, while we were writing the program is not to create, uh, I mean, we tried to avoid at least uh, to create problems uh, within a different schedule for different sessions. We did our best. We know that uh, it could happen that people can choose two of them. It's up to them to choose. I mean, it could be any way. I mean, we are not uh, linking anyone to the chairs. <laughs> it's up to the presenter to make this choice, but we are not providing chains on site, okay? So if you want to, to, <laughs> to keep people around your table, it's up to you to tell them they are free to move. We expect them to stay anyway, okay? Different topic, how long does it take from the university to the Triennale? I would, uh, I would put half an hour on that because uh, it's just one train and there are huge number of trains that go from uh, Milano Bovisa station to um, Milano Cadorna station, which is the stop to be used in order to reach Triennale, which is then, I don't know, five minutes walk, very close to that. And uh, so uh, we calculated the, the time to move from the award ceremony to the opening reception and we uh, enlarged it a little. So it's, uh, I think it's around one hour, even if Bea, I see that you write that, <laughs> that is tight. <laughs> but great topic, B. appreciate you bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we run. I don't think that it will be needed, you know, because uh, the ceremony will end in uh, around uh, 6.30 and the open ceremony will start at uh, half past seven. It's plenty of time. We have a lot, a huge number of trains we already checked. 
I mean, okay, it's not the moment in time, Bea, in which you can have a walk around the city, okay? Or have I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't plan that <laughs> in between. But we are going to wake you with some uh, Italian food, uh, and it will be a uh, very uh, easy moment at the opening reception. We are also going to have, uh, <laughs> we are going to have some guests there. Yep. Uh, which informally will share some uh, information about the city, maybe, and something that could be worth uh, seeing. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, I do plan on having some information on the website later this week about some guests that will be attending the opening ceremony. That um, it'll be fun. We're, we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to meeting her. And Gino, thank you. Hope you're yes, feeling. thank you, Gino. Hope you're feeling uh, better. We look forward to seeing you in Milan. Um, any more questions from anyone? I mean, if, if you think of anything, feel free to reach out to us. Oh, um, yes. Personally or to the conference uh, email that's on the website. Um, anytime if something else comes up that you have a question about. <laughs> Grazie, Bea. <laughs> Okay, so thanks everyone. Really. Thanks everyone. Appreciate your time. Uh, the recording will be on the website later this afternoon. Okay. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.